Hey there, and welcome back to what should be the last part for Amanda the Adventurer. We're gonna just hop right in. We're pretty much trying to tackle all the other little bits and pieces of the game that we haven't really gotten, uh, aside from like the major endings, right? So, we're back in. Now, as I was editing some of those parts, I realized there is something that I completely forgot to do. Now, what's weird is this. It is the sign for the yellow plant, but why yellow? Okay, so it seems like this might be this is connected to like one of the secret tapes. So I'm gonna be using a guide to try and like follow through some of these things in case I can't figure it out. Let's uh okay, so let's uh let's for example we're we're gonna load this up just to make sure. Wait, what? Oh my god, it's doing this again. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Today we're going to make an apple pie, right? Yeah. So, you know, that's all fine and dandy. But there is a peach, right? Which you could apparently put into the oven. I didn't even consider to, like, test out combinations. But, of course, there's a peach over here to the side. Like, Woolies, like, you know, it was like they, they have all these fruits. But, for some reason, Woolies fruit is the only one that's been rejected. So, if we put it in... It's... What? Try to bake a peach pie. But we got a new tape. So, let's see what this says. Oh, okay. We're in the void. Wonderful. A classroom. 2002, March 8th. A doctor. And a girl. In a man. Okay. 2.47 p.m. No audio. Hmm. So he seems to be showing her something on the booklet. But you can't really tell what it is. I guess it might be questions. Meanwhile, you have this doctor kind of like writing down notes after. I don't know what kind of... This is weird. This is like, what, some sort of psychological evaluation type deal? Is that a... Is she signing something? I think she signed... I think that's like a contract she just signed. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Does that look like the Amanda... Does that look like the logo for Amanda the Adventurer? Huh. Oh. oh, it's not done. We have a guard, okay. The doctor came up with this girl again. Oh my god. I just realized something. This is Amanda. When in, I just real when you tell you know when she's asking oh you know would you help the lonely kitten and you deny her over and over again, as she, she it looks like she's her body starts contorting and then she starts growing these like weird, like small these these weird assortment of eyes like they look look like eggs to be honest like fish eggs all grouped up together, that's exactly what this thing has. We're literally I and of course as soon as the tape goes dark that's when it comes out of the bloody basement. So, we're literally seeing Amanda transform into this thing. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so, she got taken to her room, and that's it. Nothing much there. Hold on, but I want to I wanna make sure that I, I saw that logo. Or, is that the... That's not the Amanda logo. That's the, 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 the Hamlin logo. The, the company behind Amanda the Adventurer. Just toss the bloody thing. What if it's this logo? On the left, not Amanda the Adventurer, but the company behind it. That would make more sense. I think that says Hamlin, because you have like the the kind of like round, you know, logo. Looks like a little tail at the end. That's what I'm thinking it is. March eighth, two thousand two. Okay, we're gonna. That's something to keep in mind. But that's good. Good to know. Good to know. So the orange tape we got by playing the music 
that it showed in notes on the top in the uh, 24 7 store and i didn't realize this when i was putting it but it literally spells f you know it's f a c a d e facade i didn't even realize that's what it was spelling out huh okay so now we need to do something else right red tape the red tape can only be asked by giving the doll a flower oh the the the, the, the yellow the the the, the yellow t the the, 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 ah, the yellow flower just wait one more yep oh yep thank you that's my favorite flower i got a surprise for you but you'll have to turn around fine played peekaboo with gretchan thank you gret i didn't know that was your name Huh, I didn't even realize, but that's actually really good attention to detail, to be honest. I wonder what else there is around here that you don't even realize. It's been three weeks since local television producer Sam Colton was reported missing. And missing. authorities still have no leads. The father of Rebecca Colton, Colton who is the, the, of the voice the actress for Amanda. The public access children's educational program that the became creator, a huge yes. hit among area children. But with Colton's disappearance... The future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment mm -hmm. purchased rights to the live action program starring Colton's daughter Rebecca. That's Rebecca. As budget and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows, and to further fuel these concerns, New episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. Like My death? kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. <laughs> I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. Huh. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. Really? We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. What? We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, That's weird. authorities That's have not weird. drawn okay. any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. <laughs> okay. The production quality is crazy for this game. <laughs> like, I mean, like, stuff like this, that's, that's me, wild. Friend, oh, what the Skip. hell? And with me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. <gasps> oh, that was such a good dog. Look at that. Oh, that's so adorable. That is so we So weird. Okay, so the father went missing. Right, the creator behind the show. The father went missing. Rebecca is the girl that we saw signing the contract. I bet she was assigning a contract for Hamlin. That might have been... At, and since her father wasn't even there, I'm betting that was after the disappearance. So they literally like took uh, the, uh, the advantage of that. Wow, okay. And it's so weird how they already are painting the narrative. Like, why... Like, they, they're already painting the narrative that Sam Colton left willingly. D didn't disappear, like because of foul play or anything he just he must have left he abandoned the show and their daughter and his daughter right it's so weird and it's weird how they're starting to act like they're the guardians for rebecca now very weird okay very sus by hamlin so next we have the green tape oh wow okay i love the detail hold on this is gonna take some skipping around to be honest Okay, so now we finally got to the what is a family tape. Now, because especially now that you wouldn't, you know, put together that Rebecca is Amanda, it makes sense to do this, right? So here, right, uh, Rebecca at Rebecca, Amanda. We'll just, you know, just for, just to make sense. Amanda asks, "What do you think the chicken's father is called?" 
You could put. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> Where should we go next? I think it's time huh. to visit the sheep. <laughs> See, like it's like you're you're slowly getting to her. But how do you get the green tape then? Oh, here it is. That yeah, like I loved it. Like oh, I I wish I would figure these out on my own. I I, I swear, because it's, it's so ingenious. <laughs> Or it's it's it's, it's just it's just clever. All right, so now the green tape. Just black, okay. Oh, coffee break with Sadie Capper. Who the hell, is Sadie Capper? Welcome to Coffee Break. Today I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator Ooh. of the hit kids show. So this is before. Amanda, the adventurer, and I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I am going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. You can't cookies. have a coffee break without cookies. Isn't that funny? Sam, last year you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big And of course situation? Hamlin decided Honestly, to buy up the rights after no, it went missing. It was a total surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Kids don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion. What? I think she's talked about it at every single story. So time. Kate's really connected to this. I didn't so even realize that. Nowadays. That explains it's why... To be so much fun... That explains why Amanda would say that Kate's her friend. I thought it was just because we were watching as Riley. But that you, a lot of the things are connecting together. Because uh, one of the things, right, for example, when, when you... When Amanda asks you if she can tell you a secret, right? And you tell her no. She says, I thought you'd be different. And I guess now that's because... You know, we're connected to someone who was on really good terms, a good friend of her father. So she thought if anyone could understand the predicament she's in, it would be us. Someone who, especially someone who's literally is doing this because Kate was also investigating the tapes, right? But also really teach kids something, isn't it? What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place, that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. Neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. Of course it is. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. And despite oh. what she's gone through, she's always seen the world. What she's gone through. Enjoy. I did not know that. So adoption. It makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? Ooh. I've actually had some people approach me about it. Hamlin. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. Okay. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. That's incredible. <laughs> Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. On our next coffee break, Interesting. floral arrangements for all occasions, featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, Rose. may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. It's still kind of crazy that they have like people like you know playing like doing this kind of stuff. Part of the game. That's so. That's so cool. That's so cool. I love it. But that's very interesting. So she's adopted, all right, and now that explains Kate's connection to this, right? It is a lot more. It's not like she's just some like I thought. It's not like she just investigated this weird thing. She's connected to it personally, which changes a lot 
you know what I mean, in terms of context. Really interesting. So, of course, now we have the purple tape, which seems to be connected to the doctor tape, which I was alluding to. I want to see if we can figure this one out, though. It seems like they're connected via the... It seems like they're connected via the answers a lot of these in some of these cases like oh, you know what i mean so we'll skip to this so here she's asking what's you know what's uh injured i don't think anything here could really work that otherwise part of looks fine. yeah because that's a normal thing uh so we'll go with knee that's now right. before well, i wanted to put colton right but i don't think that works i don't think they can help a six letter word Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's kind of wild. You're probably right. <laughs> Let's take You're probably Let's right. Damn, that's tragic. Stop. Oh, no. That's so sad to hear. Like, yeah, you're probably right. No one can help when you're hurting. Oh, my God. That's so sad. <laughs> Amanda, what hells have you Which been through to be like this? I mean... Oh, the last, I think the last tape. We'll see. What is this? Huh? We're in like some sort of maybe a studio. What does that say? I we couldn't tell what that said. Let's move on to the next one. Director. Bye, yo. Bye, yo. Bye, yo. Uh. Bye, man. What the? Bye, man. Now, is this some sort of chant? Bye, Maybe it's like vocal exercises. What is this? Oh, Sam. Just a few simple words. This script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. Dynamic voice? I want this to stop. Oh, I bet they're trying. You know what? I bet they're trying to. I think they're trying. Maybe they're trying to do this to like get the machine or like some sort of program to respond according to. Someone's like you know how like the the cartoon right is interactive. I bet this is what they were trying to achieve, like having the cartoon react based on your responses. So, Maybe. Why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? We've only got a few more of these. No, the I don't want to do that. Rebecca, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The what? man in the headphones. This oh. man, she's upset. This is going too far. Let's just take five. Man, the headphones. Rebecca, come on out and we'll... Oh. The man, the headphones. I'm literally missing two... The, the two rarest achievements I'm missing. Alright, so one of them is actually a really silly one. Uh, how do you get the bucket again? Shoot. So literally what you do... Open this... You get this bucket, then, and so you let it fill up, and then I think you have to toss, oh, <coughs> found the goggles, what the hell, okay, hold on, there are a total of five endings, so I guess I'm, I'm missing an ending here then, what, okay, so, okay, so it seems that once you have all these tapes, you need to basically get the ending again, I know it is, is Rebecca. It really okay it's, to okay. My uh, it's with okay. You? It's okay. It's okay. Just let I'm it out there. Ugh. Somewhere. And so this happens. Which literally freaking out. You get the cinder block, and then you you bloody toss it. Chuck it. Bing. And there you go. Oh, what a waste of a good analog TV. That is an analog TV, right? But anyway, so now... This should get us the... Whoop! And the new friend... What the? <laughs> okay. Some guy in red with a mask on. The hell? Apparently, there's a secret blue tape. Where Wooly's literally sitting around. Oh, so here you literally have, like, the, uh, the things that were censored before, like, security footage. Rebecca, Hamlin, director, scientist, and a security guard. You also have the news report, the newscaster, and a concerned parent. 
You also have a public access interview and a recording booth where you had Rebecca, Sam, and the Hamlin director. So we pretty much got all the cutscenes. That's it. That's the game 100%. Okay, there you go. Oh, apparently to get the sixth tape, you have to hack the game by downloading specific software. Yeah, no thank you. But regardless, yes, that has been Amanda the Adventure. Really cool. I don't know if I want to make a video like going through what seems to be the story for this game because it seems interesting. I might do that or maybe I won't. Overall, gameplay wise, really fun, really enjoyed it. Story wise, really interesting and the secret tapes really do illustrate a lot more now. Like they help really fill in a lot of the blanks that, you know, you know, such as like how is Kate connected? We know I know that. What happened with Sam? You know, like Rebecca's stuck in this thing. Where's the father at? Right. I don't, and so much more, but I also have questions about like what's going on with the character with not Amanda necessarily in the cartoon because it seems like obviously that's Rebecca possessing the becoming the character, right? But then what about Wooly? Who's Wooly in this scenario? Because there is one specific instance that made me think that it was weird how Wooly said it's my birthday, right? And, and, you know, you know how Wooly tried warning us and everything. But the reality is that the whole time Amanda was trying, was, you know, thinking about Kate. But why would Wooly say, it's my birthday? Like, like you, I don't know if you get what I'm getting at. It, it, like, a theory, I guess, is that, could it be that somehow... Because we, we've seen it's possible to be sucked into the game. What if Kate got sucked into the game and is, like, possessing Wooly right now currently for us as we're watching the tapes because obviously there are some cases where Wooly tries helping us. Wooly doesn't seem to be affected in the same way as Amanda is by the program. If anything, Wooly's pretty much been Amanda's, you know, victim throughout like a lot of these scenarios. But like the the birthday part, like when Amanda's like lost and confused, but Wooly's like, let me give you a hint, it's my birthday. Telling it but it's weird because like it's like Willie told us as if like we knew what the birthday was. But that would only make sense if we knew who Willie was. Oh, and you get you got the hat sticker. Look at that. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will. But for now, that has been Amanda the Adventure. Really great job yet again to mangle them all games and Dread XP who's the publishers, but in general, just amazing job. Amazing job. Of course, with all that said, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Let me know you're enjoying the content. I want to see more of it. And of course, with that said, I hope to see you in another video. Game in the description below, as always. Take care.